Hi guys. Well, it has been a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in North Bumblefuck, Washington here on uh, Monday, August 28th, 2017. But now it appears the smoke is rolling in again. Good God, is this ever going to be done with. But anyway, uh, I need to uh, bring you my comment of the day and I am thrilled to say that it appears a tribes member I was beginning to worry uh, that we had lost track of this would be my buddy Mark J from West Bumblefuck New Mexico a, uh, a fine gentleman that I am uh, honored to have in the tribe and uh, Mark is, I'm thrilled to say, uh, in a writing mood this week, and so several comments to choose from. I, I will, uh, I will uh, let his his uh, view of me as an inscrutable, clueless moron, as I'm sure Hambone would agree. <laughs> I'll have to sleep on that one, Mark, and get back with you. But this is the comment that uh, I want to choose to highlight out of all his great comments. Uh, I want to zero in on this one. And in another rant, uh, I have not exactly a rebuttal to this comment, but I pick up the thread of this comment in my own rambling rant today. But, uh, okay, Mark J., take it away and he was uh, responding to my rant a guilty non-clueless moron reflects on responsibility and remorse and guilt and all the the rest and uh, and anyway okay with all I would like we could sit here and read we're gonna we're going to zero in on this, Brother Mark. <clears throat> we choose our premises, and in so doing, we have to decide whether those premises are good premises to live by and operate with, whether they benefit our well-being, the well-being of others, and the planet, or not. Your premise, meaning my Hambone Little Tales premise, is that it is hopeless, which, and meaning no disrespect, is in my view an abdication of our responsibility to all living things. My premises are that humanity is inherently good and that no situation is hopeless, and no situation is, even if it deteriorates to the worst possible end result, but I won't get into the reasons for that. The collapse of civilization and of the biosphere appear to be imminent, but I stand by my premises, and when I look into the eyes of a young person, I will say that we will work together to solve this problem. Be sure to look directly into his or her eyes when saying it, so that you, under, so that you understand, and I think he meant to say so that they understand, as well that we're all connected to an extent that we cannot even imagine and that we have a responsibility to one another. If we are going down, we owe it to ourselves and whatever gave us life and consciousness to go down in nobility. I'm not going to say fuck it, and party down. Great rant. Anyway, so as I say, uh, I will respond to, uh, 
to Mark. I, I can't tell if Mark thinks that I am telling people to say fuck it and party down. But anyway, that's my own rant. The only thing I will say, uh, uh, y y y you know, if, if you look into the eyes of a young person today and tell them how fucked we are, my guess is they're gonna, you're gonna get a absolutely blank look back that they're talking to some gibbering old fart lunatic. But I don't know. Uh, maybe there are a young, a few young folks who get it. So anyway, uh, thank you, Brother Mark J. And welcome back to the tribe. And I hope we will hear from you more. This is your old, uh, once again, what did you label me in another, in another comment? This is your old inscrutable clueless moron himself hambone saying uh thank you brother mark for teaching the trolls how to respectfully disagree with another person's opinion and be a gentleman about it uh you you are a rare light on the pages of of the internet these days. Someone who can actually have an intelligent debate and respectfully disagree w with someone and point out in a logical, rational, well-articulated manner why they disagree uh, and join the debate, which is what this channel is all about. Thank you, Brother Mark, for doing that. Bye, guys.